看究竟在我发端的指尖如何瞬间冻结时间。Oh, hey, what's your Frankie like? 我来自纽约，我是一个 YouTuber。六六六。我是 Ashley， 现在我们在纽约的 Flushing 法拉盛，这里是一个有非常多华人的地方，而这里呢也是我们的朋友 Frankie 故事开始的地方。大家好，我是 Frankie Lai， 来自纽约的 Brooklyn， 我是二十六岁，我以前在这个理发店扫地，现在我做短视频，也投资股票。So I originally wanted to learn Chinese because I thought it was such a cool language. Um, I came across a YouTuber, a famous YouTuber named by Lao Shu, 55,000. Rest in peace. He passed away recently. He, this is guy, spoke about 50 languages, and、um, his best language is Chinese. So I said, hey, let me try learn Chinese. So this is the salon I used to work at. He's come every day. Ah Pen, you, 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 I just chose this salon because I, like, I just felt like this salon was like a really cool looking place. I just walked in. I was like, "Hey,、um, I'm looking to work. Are you guys hiring?" I was like, "In inside Jiao Ren, man." They was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> they never expected me to be able to,、um, you know, speak Mandarin. So that got me in the door, and I had the interview. And、um, for other reasons, I didn't get the job. But、um, I didn't accept that. I just basically told him, like, "Please, I really want this job. Like, I'm even willing to accept the lower position." And they was just like, "Okay, fine. Come in as a sweet kid." So that's where my journey started with the salon. I came in as a sweep kid, even though I am a barber. I came in as a sweep kid, and I stayed here for like about, a, I would say, maybe just some quite some time. I came out here, all the way out here, to learn Mandarin. Traveled four hours every day, going and coming to work, so that I can be immersed in the language. And this is the perfect place. This is like China. Ninety-nine percent of the language spoken in this place is all Chinese. So I threw myself in this environment. Didn't know any Chinese. Was getting yelled at in Chinese for every little thing, and、um, eventually I caught on. It would be something as simple as "ba shu zhan na gu lai." I'm like, "What? Ba shu zhan na gu lai?" I. She just go get, and she just get it herself. But then eventually I'm like, "Okay, she's talking about the comb," and, and that's how I learned. What's your by far like favorite Chinese food? Yeah, we're talking about authentic Chinese food. Jenna toast chicken. Okay. Like I've had bo bo, I've had that kind of stuff. It's good, you know. Shuang Tai Yu is also good. Shuang Tai Yu, uh huh. What you eating, Mama? Ah, Mama is also good. Yeah. I like, I like food, man. Oh yeah. So the reaction video thing was actually just like this salon. I, I just pretty much just throw my shot at anything, and I, I reached out to Shama. I didn't think he was gonna reply, but he actually replied like the next day or something. I was like, "Yeah, man, let's go meet up for lunch at such and such." I was like,、oh. "I was like, okay, cool." So, and we just shot that video, and you know how well that went. You know, two point I think it's at like two point five million views right now. I've been doing YouTube for like three years. Like, I have some singing videos on there, as you guys probably seen the Guanyin and Joy video. But after I did the Shama collaboration, that was like a month ago. I got 10,000 subscribers from there, and then to this date, not even a month later, I have 84,000 subscribers. All right, Ashley, would you like to be my helper today for the camera? You got it. All right, so here's your weapon of choice. Okay, you gotta be low key. You can't、okay. let nobody see it. We'll be very sneaky.、Right. Very sneaky. <laughs> so my process, pretty much, when I do the reaction videos, is just basically grab my GoPro, uh, get my um, chest rig, and I put it in my chest. And then I'll have my, a friend come with me who has a secondary camera, so they catch the secondary angle. And I just go out, talk to people. I'll hit the street vendors, I'll hit up the restaurants, and I'll just say, "Okay, how much is this?" They'll be like,、uh, more, "I know they can't really speak English." And then I'll wait for them to be like,、uh, "Try to speak English." I'm like, "Oh, you show up, ba ba kai ma," and they're like, "Oh my god." So, today, how are you feeling? You can speak Chinese. I will. I will. What are you doing? Was it a lot of fun? Yeah, it's it's pretty fun because it's just like the impact. It's more about like the impact. It's not so much about you know the views or whatever. It's more so like wow. You could generally generally sense that they are happier that someone speaks their native language. I used to think that there's not many African Americans that speak Mandarin. But I recently have come across a lot more people than I originally thought that actually black people that can speak Mandarin. So I'm glad that me making this video is bringing more awareness. Like yes, there is a, a, a decent size of African Americans that do speak Mandarin. 
I think that more barriers are being broken every day. Um, people are, especially with everything Stop Asian Hate and Black Lives Matter, it's just people are really beginning to see how much in a bad situation the country is really in and some things that need to be addressed. It's racism and hate in general just really, you know, shouldn't be, shouldn't be tolerated. We should just like move past that. Like just because my skin is black, you know, what the people should hate, what the people should, it's a bias. It doesn't matter. Hello， 谢谢你收看到这里。那你身边有会说中文的黑人小伙伴吗？哦、uh, ，你看到过最快的学习中文速度是什么？欢迎在留言区里告诉我们。如果你喜欢这个视频，记得点赞、转发、收藏。我们下期节目再见，拜拜。